My buddy Anthony bought Monster Hunter World to play blind with me after having just completed Rise. Today we're going to take on the five star low ranks and start high rank. How did that go? And back to the area we kind <gasps> wait, of started wait, out. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop moving. Stop moving, stop moving. That's a queen. That's a queen wriggler in front of us. That shit is so fucking rare. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try to get it. This is my first time ever seeing one in person. Okay. I'll just take a sip of my no! beverage. I uh, don't know if I'll ever emotionally recover. Enjoy. Okay, we're not gonna depart the Vaunt Vale yet. We're not. Okay. Well, because I I, I like to grab a nice fruity beverage to quench <laughs> my thirst before I do anything too dramatic. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I might get dehydrated while we're in the Rotten Vale. What are we gonna, are we gonna do? I can't just up and walk out on you to get a beverage from the fridge. So I'll be right back in a couple seconds. Like the beverage was not fruity in nature. Oh. Was it is, it? is it soda instead? No. So it's not fruity. It's not soda. Is it milk? You ever took me as an enjoyer of lactose products? I mean. You never know. Yeah. What? Well, I'm not a. I'm kind of lactose intolerant. I was not aware of this actually. Oh, okay, yeah. The more you know. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, you it, can keep taking guesses. Is it water? Yeah. That's so boring. I was really hoping for anything else. Aren't you a water drinker? Yes, I am. But that doesn't mean it's. It, that doesn't mean it's not like a boring drink in theory to talk about. Uh huh. Well, it's <laughs> refreshing. Quenches my thirst. Anyways, I'm about to. Hit the depart option. Are you, uh... Yep, I'm here. Yeah, I like this game a lot. Embodies a certain philosophy. You really gotta make yourself, you know? What? And, and like, you know, you gotta do everything yourself. It's either... You know, what is it? Better to shit in the sink than to sink in the shit, man. I mean, I suppose. That does make logical sense. In... 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 a literal sense. Oh, thank God it's not Remobra. <laughs> oh. I will never understand your hatred of Moba. Too bad we didn't crash, though. I thought that would have been hell funny as hell. Or just somebody shoots another hole in the fucking balloon? It's alright. We can just hunt that one, like, disgusting bat creature to uh, patch up the balloon. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I sleep knowing that one day you're destined to burn. <laughs> So, oh, any uh, any M and M fans in the audience? What? I mean, what? I suppose there's bound to be one, but why? I don't know. While I'm backtracking too, I figured I'd fill the empty space with rapping. Talk about something I like. You know, one of the One Piece villains is modeled after M and M. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's like immediately obvious once you know it too. Oh my fucking god! Insects. Kill them all. Uh, the high rank Don't worry. Significantly tankier. You 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 can expend your precious red pit supply while I take care of greater matters at hand. I won't elaborate on what those are. <laughs> okay, we're just heading back to the area we kind <gasps> wait, of started wait, out. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. That's a queen. That's a queen wiggler in front of us. The red one. Yeah. What do you want me to do? That shit is so fucking rare. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try to get it. This is my first time ever seeing one in person. Okay. I'll just take a sip of my no! beverage. Did I miss my one chance to get a queen fucking wiggler? I am so upset. Oh, there it is. So, um... Ice Blight. How does a guy cure it? No berries or...? Indeed. I mean, I can do without no berries, I guess. Uh, who needs stamina anyway? It's a dumb stat. Yeah. It's really objective one of the worst stats in game. Let's nice. go! Nice helicopter. Oh crap, I'm about to die. Oh, wing broken. Nice one. So does breaking the wings actually do anything? I don't know. Might make it a little less agile, I'm not really sure. I haven't tested it. But surely after playing this game for so long you would you would know. Or... I don't know everything about the game. I know a lot of part breaks that affect the fight mechanically, I don't know all of them. Yeah, well, you Wings know, is I one of the ones you. that's like a, a little, a little hard to tell. I think Beast, yeah, these a problem in the Monster Hunter universe. Probably not, because people will probably die when they try it. Yeah, but I'm talking like, what about those deer-looking things? 
I mean, I don't see why anybody would want to fuck him any more than normal beer. I don't see how it'd be any easier or harder people than normal beer. Weird. People are pretty weird. I mean, if we, you don't hear stories about people, you know, fucking deer in our world, so I don't see why it would happen in the Monster Hunter world. I don't know. Like, like a guy fucked a horse and died. Yeah, and it happens. It's like that's one you step know. away. I've seen an anime where a guy fucked a deer. Huh. That's pretty weird. I mean, he is a weird dude. He is also a villain. He ends oh, up I dying due to he ends weird. up dying due to a heart attack while in the middle of fucking a bear. Just an aside, Golden Kamui is a fantastic show and one of the best anime ever made, and you need to watch it. Uh, that said, it was probably a good idea for them to put the bear fucking arc in the OVAs of the show, so good on them. You know how to use wedge wheels, right? Yeah, I think you showed me once and I promptly forgot. No. Look up. Bingo. They're kind of hard to see, I'll be honest. Really, I find them, like, very stand out. Oh. They even move. There's another one. Are they there at pretty much every other ledge? A lot of them, yeah. Oh, another one. You know, I'm getting the hang of this. And now do your true charge slash. Comp. Oh, wait, never oh, mind. Fuck. Too late. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking nice. shoulder checked it out of the sky. Did you see that? I did hit it, but no tail break. Nice Both work. Are... Hey, we didn't even have to use the easy flash pods. Holy shit, the handler's wearing a mask. Oh, I mean, yeah, COVID's going around, man. You can't be too careful. Oh, yeah, that's true. Damn. Just when I thought we were out. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Man, I hope we don't trigger a cutscene or something as I approach this. That would be just awful, wouldn't it? Fuck. <laughs> uh, so, the block with a great sword is more like a, oh fuck, I can't roll out of the way block. You know? Damn, I fainted. Like, you know, blocking would have saved your life right there, probably. Ah, oh, shit. I was a saddening this. Damn. Oh, damn. You're kind of getting your ass handed to you. Yep. Pretty conscious of that. It's all right. I'm sure we'll come back from this. Damn it. Ah! I do uh, think I need to craft uh, armor at this point. Yeah. I've gone for I've, a while without it. I'm shocked that you haven't been upgrading your armor. I've been making new armor. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Um, if I may give you another tip, I think you're still a little bit in the Lance mentality where it's I want to be aggressive and in the monster's face at all times. And mm. Greatsword is very much so run around and wait for your opportunity kind of weapon. Mm, because the Greatsword is able to... It, it, and the Greatsword is able to get big bursts of damage in and just catch up to the Lance's constant DPS in those short bursts, you know. That's how the Greatsword is balanced. Mm -hmm. You only get short bursts, but you catch up to the other weapons whenever you get those short bursts. Oh, honestly, that looks pretty good. Well, that's because it's mostly ingot. No, I was talking about myself. I don't know what you look like. Another Fire Emblem boss. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of accurate. You did have... The, the Bone Helmet does look kind of similar to, like, the generic Axe Rider from Radiant Dawn. Yeah, I know. Now look at me. Now you look like a fucking knight. An armor knight. Yeah. I just can't escape the Fire Emblem archetype. That's alright. All right. Yeah, let, back. Let me get a good look at your Fire Emblem looking ass. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you look like yep. a Fire Emblem character. Subscribe now. Do it. Bitch. Is it just me or does three houses have inconsistent ass level design? Some of the levels are pretty good, but fuck, man. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's, shit, that's right the there. thing. Not ever, not everything's going to be a winner. It's the same way in all the games. I'm not asking for a winner every time. I'm just asking, like, I just don't want to be sitting there thinking, like, oh, it's this fucking map. You know what I mean? I uh, Radiant Dawn had its fair share of that as well. Let's be real. Yeah, exactly. Here. I'm just saying, like, we're not playing on the Wii anymore. We're playing on the Switch. Hey, I got the shoulder tackle in time. Just, uh, I just think, you know, we should be at that point where we're locked in. There's been a couple Fire Emblem games now. <laughs> Can we have one Fire Emblem game where all the maps are just locked in? Did someone order a fucking blood, uh, budget Bloodstar Beast over here? <laughs> yeah, damn. 
He's an agile. Oh, what? I didn't think that was going to hit me. Yeah, see, that's how I feel. Oh my god, that was slick as hell, and then I missed. Got the tail severed. Nice fucking work. Oh my god, I just realized this is a Raffian tail. Look at this. That's a fucking Raffian tail. There's probably a Raffian yep. buried in the gore that we're standing on. I'm telling you, underground uh, Oh yeah, look, here's, here, here's the head. Here. Uh, this is a whole-ass Raffian corpse. Where? Look, this is the head. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. That's cool. That's really cool. Underground corpse pile, just like a Bloodborne. Take a look at these ribcage bones right here. Huh? Look up. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Some big ass bones, huh? You want to take a field trip and see something really cool in the in the rotten veil before we continue the fight? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go up to zone one. All right, see the see the Rotobon over there. Yeah, that thing moving around. Yeah. Look what it's inside. About it. Look at what's inside. Yeah. A really big, uh, some kind of skeleton of sorts. That is a skull. Oh damn! Like you can see its fangs up top. Yeah. And you can see like yeah, some big bridges up there. That is a monster yeah. that you can fight in another game. Damn. It's named Delamadur, and it is the biggest Elder Dragon known in, currently in the series. Bigger than Zora. Well, Zora weighs roughly about the same, but it's longer than Zora. Because it's, it's a giant serpent. Mm. And, you know, the, the, the area that, that that thing was in, the Rodobon's nest is the skull of of Dalamadur that we fight him in. And Dalamadur's skeleton makes up like practically this whole upper area. Look to your right. That's that's like snake skeleton rib cages going along the side there. Yeah, you're right. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. God. Damn, okay. I love this area so much. Oh my god, a Legiana corpse just fell out of the sky and knocked me over. What the hell? How'd that happen? Well, I mean, you know, corpses are affected by gravity. Yeah, but where'd the corpse come from? Probably a Legiana. It's where most Legiana corpses I don't corpses know, but be. what happened? You know, how'd it die? Natural causes. Okay. Just happens. I like that the Odogron is, like, dragging the corpse. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of just watching, seeing where it's going. <laughs> it's All taking right, it back to there. its nest. Nice. It's dead. How much did you hit for? I have a lump of meat. This is my meat and you cannot have it. Look, it's raining light. I'd be worried about inhaling some spores of some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this stuff is, but it don't look good. So now... What drew Zora Magdaros away? Why is he not in the veil anymore when he clearly was before? And where is he now? And that's the story. I was going to say something like real smart ass, but I, I got nothing. <laughs> it's too it's too beautiful to, to smart ass, you know? It's not that. I'm just, I'm, I was about to say some stupid shit like, oh, it's probably at the top of the rotten veil, but then it occurred to me that's just the Coral Highlands. <laughs> I really hope that's a vat of Sprite and vodka combination. I hate to tell you this, but uh, it's just Sprite and water. Ah. <laughs> the Elder Melter. Give Is items where they put... to turn into other items. Is that where they put old people into in order to make them useful? <laughs> Grandma's getting old. Throw her into the Elder Melter pot. We'll make a Legiana gem out of her. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked. Do I, uh... Top of the food chain? No, I don't have any anything to shoot it with. Damn. I guess we're supposed to hunt those two monsters. But why is it some of the NPCs in Astera are incredibly caked up? What do you mean caked up? Like, they have, like, really big butts. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. I don't really. I, I don't. You know, I'm used to watching anime, so we might have different different standards for what makes a caked up ass. 
Okay. Uh, but I don't really see it. I mean, we the, everybody here is shapely, right? But they're not yeah. un, un, in human proportions, you know? Okay, maybe I shouldn't say everybody, but there are some NPCs. Like, goddamn. Her? No. I mean, no. yeah, I guess. Yeah, she definitely has a shapely ass. I'm not going to lie. But... But you know, I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's like crazy. I think it's still you know Maybe. human proportions. It's not like I, 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 like for one for one thing, everybody has pretty pretty realistic chest sizes, for example. And out of a Japanese game, that's like you know a miracle. Like you know, it doesn't look like anything that you wouldn't see from a lady wearing yoga pants or or like workout gear at a gym. You know. That's true. I feel sudden loss of energy after selecting Camp 17. Why? Oh, right, because cause it's 17. the inferior camp? Yeah. Or is it because you oh. now know what you were missing out on with the egg-fetching quests? No, no, I, uh, Camp 17 is objectively inferior. I just feel very weak and, <laughs> you know, I feel like a loss of energy, drowsy even from being in Camp 17. Man. Starting out in Camp 17 has really put me on the back foot here. Oh, this is one of the first monsters that I think is noticeably different in Rise and World in their fight style. I mean, I just watched it try to fly into a wall, so... <laughs> yeah, it is pretty different. Like, Rathalos' fight, I don't think has ever been better than in Rise. I mean, he's pretty good in this game, too. I, I hate him in the older games. Uh, but, like... Rise has him fly around a little bit here and there still, but it's mostly, like, jump moves and then descend moves afterwards. You know, it's like a stance change for just for one move. And in this, he spent half his moveset is, like, flying attacks, you know? Yeah. Gets kind of old, man. So, so you have to deal with him flying for much longer periods of time. Whereas in, in Rise, you just had to deal with him taking off and then landing again. I guess you'll just have to form your own opinion about which which you, you prefer. But this is your first example of, like, a fight that is notably mechanically different rather than just flavorly different. Like, uh, like, Puke, like, like, like Puke having different attacks based on the nuts or, or Toby Kadachi on the tree. But this is, like, an entirely separate moveset, you know. So, so tell me what mm. you think. Shoulder check. <laughs> Ow. At the time you say. My god, what did we just break at the end? Did we finally get. Hey, we got the back! Dude, we broke every part! Holy shit. We broke every part! Nice. Let's fucking go! This guy's broken. First, we broke <clears throat> his parts, then we broke his spirit, then we broke his lifeline. Here it comes! Oh, that's cool. God, I love that music drop. Man, I forgot how big Diablos was. Yeah, he's a big boy. So, when we're fighting the Diablos, I'm going to try to uppercut you. And that'll send you flying into the air, where you can then do jump attacks. Oh, <laughs> you were inside my hitbox. All right, here we go. There you go. That's the Just one. like that. That's the one. You launch me up. Let's go! What a great combo. Let's see if he spots me quickly. Okay, let's see if I can launch you up. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, do it. Let's go again. What? Let's go again. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're the fucking best! Let's go! Hey, nice. you broke the other 300. horn. 300? Hell yeah. Jealous has a relatively tough head, so that's a really good damage number. Hey, you got it. Nice. Nice. Finally. Anti-Elder Dragon Weapon. A Dragonator. Excellent. 
Just the weapon we Hell need yeah. to drive Zora Magdaros out to sea. Wake me up when they make smaller dragonators for our cats. Make your way to... And the, you can hmm. see the whole coastline out here. It's beautiful. I mean, technically, this area that's right in that you're looking at now is also the ancient forest. Just spreads out all the way to the edge of the wastes. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I love the spot. They they held a competition for players to design their own weapons and then put the most yeah. popular one by poll into the game as the reward for this quest. Okay. So the Sorry, so I got we're too going, caught up doing true charge So flashes. we're going to get an event quest weapon that was designed by a player instead of the devs. Honestly, I mean after seeing how fans uh, do when they're asked to write uh, their favorite TV shows, <laughs> I'm not holding my breath. You know how it is. Um, yeah, write it, how writing can be can hard. Be. Art design is saying. something that a lot of people can do. I'm just saying, um, you never let the fans write the show. In this case, I, I don't know, man. There's a reason why you have fans and you have developers. But, you know, you don't, you don't really mix and match them too much. <laughs> God damn. This shit's so cool. Yeah. By the way, have you watched uh, the videos of, of our playthrough? Now that there's two of them out? Yeah. Yeah. I watch them. Admittedly, it's really hard to listen to the sounds of my voice. <laughs> like, I, I really don't like listening to, like, my own voice. Really? Yeah. Like, it's... I genuinely don't like... Uh, it, which is why I'm very camera shy. I don't know if you know that. Um, I did not know that, actually. Yeah. So, I do watch videos, but mostly just because I just want to see the editing and whatnot. But I really have to force myself to sit still, like, while I listen to myself. <laughs> yeah. Like, in retrospect, a lot, of, a lot of the funny shit I say, or at least in my head it sounds pretty funny to me. But when I hear myself say it, I just, like, kind of sneer in disgust. Oh, no, it is funny. It, it is legitimately Yeah, funny. it's just kind of like, oh, I said that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the sound of it, too. It sounds better in my head. No, it... And at least at the moment I said you it. You have a way of delivering lines where no matter how excited you are, it sounds a little flat. And that's what gives it comedy. It, it really yeah. is. It's Truly. it's it's one of the things that I think has always made you funny to me since we were kids. Yeah. Is is that everything you say has just like this dry and like dry tone to it, and it's it's beautiful. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, <coughs> Do uh, I? What'd you think of the oh. dancing Zora Magdaros? <laughs> 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 I wonder how, um, I wonder how the little cat creatures manage to get all the stuff hung up there. I imagine they've they probably just climbed. Yeah, it just seems really inconvenient, but I guess if they can pull it off, like if they put it up there in the first place, I'm sure they can get it down. Well, I mean, mo it looks like what most of it is, is just leaves on top of a net for rain coverage. Oh, I'm just talking about like the bananas and shit hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Maybe they just grab a ladder. Yeah, it's, I mean, like it's too tall for humans only to grab. Like it's too it's too tall for humans like you to grab, but right, your character yeah. can't jump at highs. So, Reason so, so uh, realistic. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's, hey, it's look, no there's an animation of oh, so that's how they do it. Oh, what, what what's going on? Oh, they there's an animation of um, you know, like those little uh, alicos actually walking on along the beams with those little really long sticks, and they just oh, kind of I want to yeah, see this. They, yeah, yeah. No, you, oh, you I see, it. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. See, holy shit detail. Yeah, That's you see, so like, cool! They use the little sticks and kind of <laughs> grab a bunch and they go back into the and, uh, kitchen. And they're cats so they have good sense of balance. Huh. And yeah, then, the yeah, they have, they have ladders leading up from the ground floor up to the rope, too. God, that's so cool! The success of the whole operation comes down to how much we manage to weaken the torch! <laughs> I'm a man with a torch pod and I'm kind of angry. His noggin is, it has been swelled to unprecedented size. I'm like, I'm like a postal worker who's just finally lost it. 
<laughs> a danger to you and everyone else around you. Yeah. Yeah, the devil shivers when a uh, average uh, white guy who works at a cubicle job just uh, realizes nothing matters. And that's when he decides to, you know, go by Monster Hunter and hang out with his friends. Yeah, or go postal. It could yeah, go, go either way. Going postal famously means, like, buying Monster Hunter worlds. Yeah. It's true. Do you want to fight it here, or do you want to go back and fight it with me? I'm pretty sure we can just fight it here. I okay. Mean... Then I shall do the same. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, I'm kicking this thing's ass. Yeah, same. I, I got this gun to run. Not sure if it's first, but yeah, this, this guy's not having a great time. I'm gonna wild spire waste his ass. <laughs> yeah, what the hell are these things? Those are Gajalaka. Huh. And they are the uh, owners of the little footprints that you've been picking up all over the ground. Right. I can kill them. Yeah, they're hostile to you. Now, why Despite being a Linian tribe, they are very hostile to you. That's kind of crazy. And they also uh, are tough as nails. Do not underestimate them. Like, obviously, when you're fighting them, they're easy. But, like, they will aggro onto you while you're fighting another monster, and they will pelt you and the monster with, like, Molotov cocktails and paralysis knives and shit. Spoken like a true Yarnamite. You play green and rat! Yeah, it ain't far off. Uh, there's at least a Rodabon and an Odogaron on the map, it looks like. Yes. Look, it's that mystery monster's oh, shit. Oh, there shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that got both of us. Yeah, yeah, that, that actually scared me. That's the second time he's done that, too. Yeah, I, I really love milking the shit out of it. Let's. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy loves jump scares. Oh, he really, really does. Well, we spotted the Rodabon. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Rotten Veil is pretty cool in a sickening and disgusting way. Reminds me of a. Uh... Communal bathroom. <laughs> Just imagine the humidity in the Rotten Vale. Must be that, really humid. Uh, that akin to a porta potty in Mississippi. Yeah. I love it. Oh man, yeah. Wait, I forgot. You were in Mississippi, weren't you? Yeah, it's so fucking humid there, man. What are the porta potties like in Mississippi? I don't know. I never, I never went in one. Oh, wise decision. <laughs> So what's uh what does the handle do? She handles. The sense like um, what does handle or handle? Uh, so she she manages our quest board. She's the one who sifts through all the quests and picks which ones that we need to actually consider doing. So okay. the quests in our quest board are not the only ones on the quest board. They're just the ones the handler deems. Curated. It's curated. Yeah, it's curated for us. Okay, I was gonna say I thought she was handling me, but I was gonna point out that I'm pretty out of fucking control. <laughs> I'm insane. Uh, she she also just gives tips whenever she can. She's a she she is a food expert, you know. She knows yeah. she knows a lot about you know what what mushrooms are edible and what aren't and stuff like that. Not that that helps us much, but you know. Yeah, it really doesn't help me. But you know what would help me a lot? What's that? Bloodborne 2. <laughs> that was out of left field, but yes, I fully agree. But you know, I kind of went through a phase. At first I was like, we need Bloodborne 2. But after so many years, I realized we don't need Bloodborne 2. You know. Or at least that's what I tell myself. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. I'm listening. I'm listening. Bloodborne 2, but instead of the doll as our level up lady, we get the handler from Monster Hunter World. I'll be honest. I'm pretty attached to the doll. I, I like the doll. <laughs> I, I love the doll too, man. I just think it'd be really funny to have the handler be our level up lady. I'd be a little angry. I'll be honest. <laughs> I would... yeah, I'd just be annoyed as shit. <laughs> You, you know. go from welcome home, good hunter, to hey, part <laughs> want to level up. <laughs> it's just the um, <laughs> yeah, Bloodborne two.
Oh, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if we really need it or not. We okay, yeah. Let's let's be real. We don't need a Bloodborne two. The story is already pretty conclusive. Yeah, and yeah. Like I feel like they're done there. But if Bloodborne two was made, I would buy it in an instant and play it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, th I think that's my sentiment. <laughs> At first, I I did genuinely want Bloodborne two, like, but take my money, take my now... money. <laughs> hey, partner, wanna level up? I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Instead of German telling you to go um, fight the blood starved beast, it's the handler suggesting you go fight the blood starved beast. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, partner, why don't you check out the valley? Here, here's another thing that could happen if they replace the handler with uh, the doll with the handler. You, know, you go into the workshop and you talk to German. And he goes, "We don't have as much tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find, even the handler, should it please yeah. you." <laughs> I went fishing last Sunday. Oh, how was that? Catch anything? Whoa. Well yeah, yeah, I caught a lot of things, but it was not like Monster Hunter whatsoever. And Fred will be disappointed. I don't know. Whenever I think of you and fishing, all I can think of is that fucking camping trip that we did like three years ago. Yeah, I can't. Well, technically that was 2019. So was that really 2019? Yes, sir. It was just after we graduated high school. Yeah, I all I remember from that camping trip is that like. Michael caught a fish and then yes, he, chopped yes, it he into went crazy. He went crazy. He went a little crazy mode. <laughs> he, he, he chopped it up into little bits so that it stank the whole fucking tent. It stank the whole camp and then threw oh, that shit, head in Elena's tent. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. What the fuck was that? He, he, was, he, he was crazy, man. Yeah, and now thank God he's teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ <laughs> to people. <laughs> yeah, that, that it's 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 funny because finding out that he became like a missionary, a missionary yeah. was simultaneously the single most what the fuck I never would have thought about that I, I never would have associated you with that, and also the most yeah that makes sense I've ever been in my life. Well, you know, he's coming back from his uh, missionary trip this June ah. after being two or three years away, so. Well, interesting tidbit. Hey! hey, hey. It's my boy! It's my favorite monster! The green one. My name is. Okay, 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 but we have a uh, basil piece here. We gotta, we gotta hunt. You will not pass oh my the fucking game. god. This is a fight for survival now. I just wanted the fucking cast it on parts, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm trying to carve right now as well. Don't worry, I got this. As long as they stay off of me, I should be fine. So do you remember how, level, how high of a level basil piece was in Rise? Yeah, he's pretty high. Yeah, he's still that high level in this game. They just allow you to fight him with low rank gear. If I just put these small monsters between me and Basil, because he can't get me. <laughs> Brilliant planning. What could no, possibly I... happen to Absaros against a Basil? The Basil surely can't get oh, through. See, see, like I'm. Okay, yo, he's actually killing them, never mind. <laughs> it took him a while, though, I'll, I'll be honest. You know, the time we had the combat music never stopped playing. Oh my fucking god, it's. Oh, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> it just doesn't fucking stop. I love Basil, please. man. Okay, okay. No, please let me get this card. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> oh, he hurts. Holy shit, you lived through a blasting scale. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting it to one-shot you. Don't want Why does fucking basil geese keep showing up? Uh, because it's basil geese. 
Yeah, okay, let me just get this I'm tail honestly car real quick. shocked that it's not directly in combat with us already. Oh, uh, never mind. Okay, yeah, I got the tail car. Let's go. <laughs> Bye! Asshole. He even has his own music. What an asshole. Fuck songbirds, man. The dumb mechanic. I sure do love prolonging the gameplay. What I will say about songbirds is I liked the concept of them at the very beginning of low rank. Because it just it seems like... A, because it, back then, it was a bonus that was nice to have, but not necessary. Oh, Basil is here. Yo, check it out, it's Basil Geese. It was nice to have, but not necessary, and encouraged you to explore the map. And that works great. But then when they became mandatory, like, fuck off. As I breathe, you will not pass oh. the castle gate! <laughs> Thanks, Basil. Oh my god! Oh. I, oh, holy shit, that was a great shot of Basil. Yeah. He, he like zipped past my camera. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Crap. If it keeps roaring while I'm trying to heal, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I told you you'd gain a stronger appreciation for him in World than you got in Rise. Yeah. In Rise, he's just another monster, but in World, he's Basil. He's the invader. You know. You know, I like how they explicitly don't really tell you that there's an invader monster. He just kind of shows up. Yeah. Kind of figured that out on your own. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Anyways. That um, that story quest was literally, hey, I know you're investigating something, but kill this monster. That was the whole yep. story quest. We can end. We 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 can fucking end the episode on this one. This is some good shit. Yeah. There's a lot more going on than in the world. That's for sure. I do feel a extra sense of investment there. Okay. Honestly, it's pretty fun. I feel like I have more things to do. Yeah. If a bit, it's just busy work when it comes down to it. But it's busy work that leads up to the part where I kill the monster. Mm -hmm. Like realistically, it's the same thing. You you deal. You you kill a whole bunch of three stars until you get to four star. But Rather that it doesn't feel as much like homework to me because we're giving mm -hmm. a we're given a narrative purpose for almost every single monster, you know. Yeah. And that that yeah, was always that, the thing that saying. I had with with Rise was that you would you, you would like go through and you would grind the monster you want to grind. You would level up your gear. You would do a whole bunch of side quests, and you're all ready for the main story. And then you have to do five more quests as homework before you unlock the next key quest. Yeah, and at least it kind of makes sense to killing all those monsters in this game. Yeah, and to, that's a nice and, part. Yeah, it happens the same here, but it feels like you're progressing through the story much quicker when there is a narrative purpose to every single exactly. quest, and you feel like you're skip you, you're you can grind a couple times and then skip through a whole bunch of monsters all at once with your new gear before it starts to become outdated. You know. Yep. Whereas in Rise, I, I don't know about you, I never felt strong in Rise. Like, despite the fact that the Hunter's power has never been higher than in Rise, I felt really weak compared to the monsters at all times. Yeah, we were always trying to acquire the latest piece of gear. And this, uh, I can't believe I rolled with the bone armor up until that point. Yeah, you really should have upgraded, I'm not gonna lie. I made it that far. You did, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, Gentles and Ladymen. We'll see y'all next time. Mm, so tasty.